Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Centipede Geek. Today I'm going to talk about the ABC original television series by the name of Red Widow. I'm going to discuss my thoughts and opinions upon episode 7 titled The Coke. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? So as always, we have, you know, Rodha Mitchell from Silent Hill playing our main actress. And what she is trying to do in this episode is get out of Schiller's possession once and for all. You know, she really never wanted to work for him in the first place. She's just trying to protect her family. You know, she's just trying to pay her husband's debt to Schiller. So we have her working for him as always. But the main thing in this episode is that she is trying to get out of the drug cartel business once and for all. And Schiller promises her freedom with only one thing in mind. Schiller tells Marta that if he can have the marina in his possession and use her marina as sort of a shipping, you know, import and export business to import and export uh, drugs and guns, because, you know, they were, you know, importing a lot of drug cartel, but now they've moved on to bigger and better things such as guns. And he tells her that if he can have his cocaine back, you know, his coke, and then now, if he can have the marina also, then Schiller said, you know, Marta can be free. Well, the problem with this is that when Marta goes down to look in the bottom of the ocean, or the water, you know, where the uh, drugs, you know, the cocaine was kept, all she finds is plastic crates full of rocks. And you know what that means? That means that, in fact, someone has stolen the cocaine that was Schiller's. And when you steal Schiller's stuff, Schiller gets very angry. So that's pretty much the gist of episode 7 titled The Coke. Uh, with ABC's television series by the name of Red Widow. We also have many other things going on in this episode. Of course, when, uh, you know, the cocaine is stolen, Schiller, and, you know, the first part of this episode doesn't find out, but of course, as always, Schiller, are very, being a very smart man and a great actor that plays him, by the way, uh, by the end of this episode, Schiller finds out that it's, you know, who stole his cocaine, and the man who stole his cocaine, just so you know, spoilers are coming up, so if you don't like spoilers, pause uh, this video and you don't want to skip ahead a few minutes. Anyways, but if you like him, keep watching. So anyways, uh, the man who in fact stole stolen Schiller's cocaine was Irwin, and the reason Irwin did it was to get one last payday so he could run off with him and his, you know, his girlfriend, but it's actually, I forget the guy's name, but, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, Rodha Mitchell, her, or Marta's, Marta's dad, he, they, she calls him Poppy, so I'm just gonna call him Poppy. Anyways, uh, you know, he's, he wants, he, he wants to run off with her up to Vegas and get away from Schiller and all this drug and gun business once and for all. And he thinks that if he can sell the cocaine, he'll become, you know, bloody and filthy rich. Well, the problem with this is, is that Marta ends up finding out, and Marta pretty much tells him in this episode that, you know, Irwin needs to stay away from her family once and for all, you know, because we know we all know that Irwin is her brother. So she pretty much, you know, banishes him from the family. You know, she pretty much tells him, you know, A, Irwin, you know, I don't want you in my life. I don't want you near my kids. I don't want anything to do with you. She actually ends up shooting, I believe, his hand uh, or his arm in the process, and you know he's bleeding everywhere. So they're not in very good relations right now. And what ends up happening is one of Schiller's men, you know, because Schiller ends up finding out what's going on, and Schiller sends off one of his men to go kill Irwin. Well, in the process, Poppy's girlfriend actually ends up being killed because I, I'm sure you guys, if you guys have been watching the rest of the series, if not, I definitely recommend. Anyway, so if you have been watching, we all know that Irwin has been, you know, you know, having a relation with Poppy's, you know, girlfriend. You know, and the girlfriend has been cheating on him, and the girlfriend's okay with it, and so is, you know, so is Irwin. In this process, Poppy's girlfriend ends up dying, and at the end of the episode, Poppy ends up finding out. No, he doesn't know who it is yet, but I can tell as the series is going to go on, even though next week is the season finale. Uh, I don't know if they plan on having more episodes or not. I'll, I guess I'll let you guys know. So anyways, I can only wait to see Poppy find out because he is going to do whatever it takes to just kill the guy that killed, you know, that, and it was because of Irwin that all this happened. We found out another major thing about Irwin, and that was Irwin was the one that in fact stole the cocaine from Schiller in the first place, you know, way back at the beginning of the series. So the entire time, Ronald Mitchell's husband and the other, and Uncle Mike, you know, they were, you know, covering what Irwin did. So if you, if you want to look at it, you know, technically, Irwin is part of the reason that, uh, Marta's husband died in the first place, and that was part of the reason that Marta told Irwin that he no longer uh, wanted her in her life, because she was, she was sick of it, because Irwin was part of the reason. He wasn't the one to pull the trigger, but Irwin was part of the reason that her husband died, because he was the one that stole the cocaine, and they were using, you know, her in this cover. So we have that going on, uh, 
And that's pretty much the just. Oh, also in this episode, uh, I forget the guy's name, but uh, I think his name is Gabriel or something like that. Anyways, uh, you know, Marta's son, I'm not, I don't know if that's his name, his name or not, I forget. If, if that's not his name, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's just call him Marta's son. So Marta's son, as we know, has beaten up uh, Uncle Mike. And in this episode, his mother Marta finds this out. And she is very upset with him. You know, he cries. You know, she's upset with him. It's a great little emotional uh, scene. Uh, not really any family bonding going on in this episode. It's actually kind of a sad episode because a lot of sad things went down. But overall, I really enjoyed it. So anyways, that's pretty much the main plot of ABC's original television series by the name of Red Widow for episode 7 titled the coke overall my thoughts and opinions on this episode i really enjoyed this episode you know as we all know for some reason i'm not sure why red widow has been off the air for about a month now you know it hasn't premiered like since last like i believe march 31st according to my sources on wikipedia uh but now it's back and it's only gonna be back for two weeks it's back for tonight and next week as always uh it comes on every sunday night uh nine o'clock central ten o'clock for everyone else next week's episode is episode eight titled the hit and May 5th of 2013, that it will be the last episode of Season 1, uh, concluding with eight episodes, ending the first season with its season finale. Uh, I don't know if they plan on just wrapping everything up in one season, or if they plan on having more. Uh, I imagine they plan on having more, because they have, there's a lot to wrap up in one episode, but I'm sure they could do it if they tried. I don't really know uh, the full intentions. I have to watch Episode 8 to see if everything wraps up nice and clean, or if there's still more questions to be answered. Uh, and if there is still more questions... I assume they plan on a season two, though I haven't heard any word on a season two yet. But if I do, I'll make sure to let you guys know. Uh, overall, I really enjoyed this episode. A lot of real, you know, huge things went down. You know, Poppy's girlfriend dying. You know, that was really, you know, just kind of a sad part. Erwin, you know, even though he made some bad decisions, uh, Erwin's kind of a selfish guy. I like, I like his character. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of likable things about him, honestly. But for some reason, I still like his character a lot. He's, he's not always making the best decision. Uh, he means well, but he doesn't make the best decisions. A lot of times, he's just just being selfish. And this, and then this episode, his you know his selfishness got him in trouble. And now he's you know banished from you know you know Rod Hall Mitchell's you know her character's family. And so we have that going on. But the best thing about this episode was definitely Schiller because I forgot to say also Schiller's father was in this episode, and his father is now sick, and he went to the hospital and everything. But they ended up bringing him back home. Because Schiller didn't want to be, th didn't want his father to be there, and neither did the father. Well, Schiller, in just he's probably my favorite character in this show, besides, of course, you know, Rodham Mitchell playing Marta. Schiller is just a sinister guy. You know, we, you know, finally Marta. You know, I forgot to say this also. Marta finally found out that Schiller uh, was the one that you know killed, you know, her her husband. You know, we found out, we saw the guy with the yellow stripes in the boots, but, you know, he was the one that pulled the trigger, but Schiller was the one that, in fact, gave the order to kill Marta's husband, so we have that going on, so I loved how this episode just kind of wrapped up all the, the holes, you know, there wasn't any plot holes in the series, I didn't mean it like that, but I loved how this episode kind of brought everything together, and it was a real nice setup, it was kind of a sad thing because of all the, you know, all the uh, bad things going on, but I just loved how this episode sort of wrapped things up, and it's set up for the season finale, and I can't wait to see where the series is going to go. And I really hope it gets uh, confirmed for season two. If not, then uh, I guess let's see if it all wraps up in season one, right? Anyways, once again, thanks for watching another uh, review by Centipede Geek for ABC's original television series by the name of Red Widow, episode 7, titled The Coke. Uh, make sure to stay tuned next week also. I'll have more weekly reviews of Red Widow. Anyways, once again, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my page below, and I'll see you guys later with more videos by Centipede Geek.